Hey, what's up everyone? So, one of my favorite things to do is get Instax photos on at the holidays, at special events, special occasions, and I always love to use this camera as well as my Instax Wide 300 because they take a really nice, crisp, clear photo, and there's not a lot of work you have to do to get that photo. So I've got all of my holiday, my Christmas photos, uh, and I wanted to share those with you. I didn't take too many because I didn't want to just waste my film. I really like to get uh, yearly just some photos from the holidays to kind of look back on and see how things progressed year from year. I think it's a pretty cool thing to do. Here are the photos that I got. I'm gonna start out with the Instax mini photos uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I take pictures of. And it's not always people. I've got a ton of photos that I've taken of people, so a lot of times I like to do different objects or different things that sort of represent the holidays as well. So here's the first one. This one's sort of uh, part of the Christmas tree. Had an ornament and a really cool like rose thing. This one is also an ornament. Another ornament. As you can tell, this year uh, I took a lot of pictures of, of the ornaments. This one is some peppermint. And I really like the colors on that one because it popped. This one is a little bit darker because I turned the flash off, but I like it. It was a dish that was used at one of the holiday gatherings I went to. I really liked it. I thought it turned out kind of cool. This one was a little bit blurry, but overall I like how it's got some green in there, some green and white to sort of represent the tree and the snow and everything, which we didn't have any snow, unfortunately. I love the snow. This one is a snowman decoration. I like how it turned out. Some junk food because this is about the only time of the year that I l allow myself to go a bit wild with the candy and all of that. Uh, and this one's my absolute favorite because it turned out so crisp and clear. Uh, I, I love how this one turned out. It's part of a wreath that I liked and I really, really love this photo. It's probably my favorite one that I got out of my mini photos. Now let's go on to the Instax wide photos. Got one of my brother. He looks extremely happy to be photographed. I've got one of the tree. I got one of some presents under the tree. One of a little uh, manger type setup. And I really liked how that one turned out because um, I was worried it wouldn't because of the way that I took the photo. I had to sort of have the camera down a little bit so I couldn't really look through the viewfinder so I'm glad that one turned out pretty good. This one is another decoration I thought was pretty cool and another one of that snowman. But Let me just compare the two ones of the snowman to give you an idea of, of the Instax wide photos. I took this one in a portrait at portrait mode and s sort of turned the camera. But I'm going to let you get an idea of the difference in size and quality. As you can see the quality is actually pretty much about the same. There isn't a big difference in the quality. This one actually turned out a little more uh, crisp and clear, but overall the main difference is the size. That's it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you got any really cool photos for the holidays or what you like to do to sort of capture those memories, whether it be Instax, digital, however you do it. Uh, check out the link in the description if you don't have an Instax camera to get you a really good price on one. Subscribe if you haven't already because I do a ton of Instax related videos, a ton of camera related videos, and I will see you guys later.